Hello! Bless your Gurumin, a monstrous adventure. In the last part, we fought two bosses, and like, I think we're done saving all the monsters, it said? Something like that? In this part, we probably need to collect furniture, though. Um, what do you have to say? Light all the torches. Oh! And then they're suddenly unlit. Got it. What? Uh, I'm not seeing how I would light them. Maybe I just need to destroy them all with fire? Whatever, he probably resets it once I talk to him. Uh, no. I'm missing a torch. But how do I light these, anyway? If I use one of my, like, range things, does it only apply to the element? Oh! That was totally obvious and a reasonable thing to do. Alright, well, let's get the torch back and then we'll do it properly. is a pretty big attack at least. There, got him. Look at all those lit torches. Okay. Fantastic. But uh yeah, um I wanted to say though um Whoa. It's a lot of ice going on. Uh no, that's not what I wanted to say. Um I wanted to say that I have noticed that I have two, th no, one third of the um, achievements related to collecting furniture. I feel like I'm probably about halfway through the game, though. I have no basis for that feeling, just. I don't know. I mean, I, I've killed more bosses in terms of percentage than my furniture completion is. So, you know, maybe, maybe it evens out some. Uh, maybe I should put my goggles on. So I don't... <laughs> Whoa! Fish, fish, fish. Did I get them? Are they dead? No, there's still a fish. It looks like a rock, but you don't target rocks. Wish I could just swing underwater. I wonder... Maybe this is a more better way of dealing with the problem. Whoa! So they jump out of the water if you're not in the water. Maybe that's the best way to deal with them. Uh... Hi? Wow, that attack is really fast. My plan was to do the jump attack at them. Oh, not spin. Well, now they're kind of near the surface of the water. So maybe doing the spin move is the most effective way of hitting something under the water. All right, we killed it. How much damage did that thing do to me anyway? Like thirty? I feel like I had over fifty health before fighting that thing. Or wait, I can't subtract. That would only be a difference of like 20. Or would it? Wait. Did I say over 50 health? I meant over 70 health. <laughs> I 
Maybe that's my problem. Oh. Uh... I feel like I needed one of those to not die randomly as I was killing a different one. But maybe this is fine. Nope! I wish I could turn off moves. Because I feel like I'm not doing spins. I mean, I, most of the time I like how permissive it is with your spins, but um... Yeah, it, it would be nice if I could actually chain monsters together still. Oh wait, just moving in the water makes you go up in the water. I remember once I thought it was related to holding... something. Uh, attack. I wonder if I would have had an easier time with the fish. Whoa. No. No. Alright, I'm mystified. I thought I was just holding one direction, but apparently we got a spin attack sometimes. Okay, now I want to do one. Alright. Nope. Go. Yeah, I almost never want the air one. Well, except when I do. Of course. Or are we once again doing like the reverse of an area we've done before? This, this formation feels familiar with the split path. Oh, this is different, I think. Oh, but it's to replace the locked door that needed a switch. Oh yeah, we've definitely done this before. I don't know if I, those jars were there the first time, but whatever, not important. Okay, and then what was up here? I think the first time it was a treasure chest. It could just be nothing this time, though, and that would be fine. What? Oh, wait, there's there's more passageway. Figure it out. A jar and a switch. Okay. Did I- did I miss stuff? Is there a more better map? No? I just need to go back? Yeah, cause what was over in this direction? I thought it was gonna meet up, but it didn't meet up where I expected. So now I'm like, moderately concerned about missing stuff. This guy. Oh! Didn't quite let it charge up all the way. Alright, they apparently really don't appreciate fire. Hmm. 
Is this the first time we've seen the tree enemy attack? I feel like I usually killed them really fast. Ow. There was not a health thing on this level, was there? Yeah, I should use an item? I don't know, that seems like a pretty extreme position to be taking. Mm, Alright. And then... Here... Is where? Wow! Get wrecked! Oh, I should have gone the other way, because there's a locked thing this way now. Huh? Oh, these ones are, like, defended with their plates. They also have way more hit points, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I am gonna investigate the other pathway. All this backtracking because I don't search the dir correct directions. Although it would take one full backtrack anyway. I guess I can be on the lookout for like breakable walls or stuff. Or I could be interested in if there's anything under this rock. There's money. What a surprise. I mean, they, they could have actually, like, put a treasure chest inside a rock, couldn't they? <laughs> Although it's usually money. Alright, we're gonna break this tree, arbitrarily. Only you can prevent trees. Wait, what? Broke something on the other side of the wall with my sword beam. Ooh. Power oil. That's somewhat valuable. I think that's worth more than anything in the um, sweets shop. This one's a mistaken path. Alright, this just loops around. Oh, there's no way to open that. So I really should have just come this way first. Oh well. Probably worth coming back here for the power oil. I could actually like use that in a boss fight or something once my weapon D levels. Or on a tough normal stage. That log had gotten in my way too many times. I was like, you know, even though I've already jumped over this, this log needs to die. Alright. Are we just running to the end of the level, or is there going to be another whole room to this thing? Well, I mean, there's obviously the room with the furniture. At a minimum. Okay, yeah, we're done here. Got a bookshelf. So one thing that's funny... Oh, I missed four enemies somewhere? Oh well, A+. Plus. Um... Yeah, one thing that's kind of funny about looking at the list of achievements is it tells you what monster each item of furniture goes to. I'm just gonna talk to everybody, though. Okay. It's not yours. Oh! Found his bookshelf, so we can study dance moves, because it has a hundred books worth of techniques, and Baron is macho because she carried a bookshelf here. Heck yeah, bookshelf.
I like that for the rising light animation, the house just conveniently stops existing. Is that somewhere I actually have access to? One day I'm like gonna go out and there'll suddenly be like six levels or something that I suddenly can go to. Oh yeah, I haven't been able to do anything at Fairy's Nest. Oh wait, I can make it here. Through this way. Got it. So I can go to where it just unlocked, but I still can't make it over there. Do I have any other options available to me? Uh, well, not Fairy's Nest. I think we're all the way done with... Uh, that's the lab. But I think we're all the way done with Potato Ruins. Yeah, this looks like super dead-ended. Not even expecting another unlock in that direction. There could be more down here. Past the boss level. In fact, I'm expecting two more levels. Because that's the way things normally work. Two levels, and then a boss, and then two more levels. I think. Well, it's the way Potato Ruins worked, anyway. And let's see, this was one, two, boss. One, two. Alright, well, let's do this level. We might run over a little. Oh, am I gonna need to do something special again? Match the number of the white winged one if you want to pass. What? Who has white wings? Number three. Number two. Uh. No, not yet. I'm just. I'm just breaking stuff one at a time and then talking to you. Alright, well. If the number's not zero, then it's not related to breaking those. Hmm, maybe I'll get a hint. Match your critical value with the number on the swan boat at the edge of the lake. Of course! So that 51, I assume. Anyway, let's go to Swan Lake and find out what the number is. I guess the forest clearing is Swan Lake. Oh! You're here. Alright, got it. Oh. Okay. I, I would like a translation, and I came on by. Alright, for some reason I thought this was the lake. But no, there was definitely... Oh yeah, the lake is where we got lightning, not where we got fire. Actually, maybe I shouldn't do the next level, but I would like to fi um, figure out this puzzle at least. And then I can leave the area with the correct critical value. Or I can save with the correct critical value, rather. Okay, so there's a number on this thing? The number is one. Got it. Alright, so let's get our critical value to 1 and then save and quit. Because, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could do another area, but. No. It needs to deal damage in order to. Let's get our critical value adjusted somewhere else. <laughs> Might as well just go here. Let's see. I can leave this area just by walking out, right? Okay. So once we get our value to 1, that's what we'll do. And, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna do anything else, so you can just feel free to leave. 
if uh, you're not interested in me grinding up my critical count. Uh, let's see. I <laughs> need to make sure not to pass one, of course. Once I get into some things that take multiple hits, this will go decently fast. <laughs> I gotta really pay attention to the rhythm, though. If I want to make progress decently fast, anyway. I realized that I, like, turned all the way around. Yeah, it, it, it really wants you to use that spin move a lot. Is this level short enough that I'll actually be likely to finish it before I... Or not before, but like... What if I can just get to the end of the level rather than backtracking? That would be convenient. Oh wait, the switch is the other way! <laughs> you know, that thing I just pushed isn't the thing that I need to put the box on. Uh, paying attention to things. I'm gonna ignore a few enemies for the sake of trying to get to the end of the level before getting my critical count to, um, one. I'll ignore the healing thing. Bye. Oh, treasure. Fine. Yep, mine. Wait, is this not the right way? I guess you just swim or something. Watch, now I'm gonna ignore so much stuff that I don't quite get to one. Oh wait, there's not even water there. Oh. The next room, end of level. Uh, well, I'm at zero now. Oh, pff, I needed one more. What's this star thing? Oh, it's a cookie. <laughs> okay, so that's what happens if you repeat a level. All right. So I just need to break one torch with proper timing. All right. <sighs> so yeah, I could have probably cut past that and then done this level and still run over, but we're, we're, we're just going to save and quit now. So, uh, yeah. Next part we'll do here. See ya!